he, there was a note that said over 10 years old that he could no longer walk. And he explained to me that there was a dog and like tied down to a sled. And I'm like, okay, I'm literally like two minutes away. I'll be right there. So I sped there really, really quickly. He could like lift his head up and when he lifted his head up and he looked like looked at you and he looked in his eyes, you're just like, your heart is breaking. He knew he was like safe now. He knew that he was gonna get like the care that he needed. So, I mean, he was very happy when he saw like a human. He was probably like, oh, yay, safe. I can get out of where I'm at right now. The vet did an absolutely amazing job. And they were able to shave him and they did like a bunch of blood tests and a bunch of just, just tests and everything to try to figure out what was going on. And the reasoning why he couldn't walk was his fur was just so matted and so tight to his skin that it physically like hurt to move. With like just a bunch of like the physical therapy and everything, we were able to get him to walk. He kind of made like a pretty good comeback with the walking re relatively quickly. I mean, as soon as we shaved him and um, got him on like the antibiotics that he needed to be on, he started just being able to walk. And it took him a while to be able to like stand up on his own. We also won his heart over because uh, he loves ice cream. That was the best way to get him to eat his meds it was give it to him an ice cream. It was it was always a fun time. I'm like, dude, you get ice cream, you a little spoiled. He is a gentle giant. Um, all he wants to do is like love on you. He like leans in on you, pushes his head on into your chest because he just wants you to love him. He found that glow. He got that glow. He got that life back in his eyes and like that happiness. Like he finally, he looked like a dog, like a true happy dog. With him being in the foster home that he's in, he's probably going to end up being adopted. And then it's really just kind of living the rest of his life out in a loving, caring home.